intermittent fasting, once again, not magic. So we were discussing the results of a new study that had people either calorie restrict or do intermittent fasting for a year compared to control. So there's three groups, 30 people in the control group, 30 people in the calorie restriction group, and 30 people in the intermittent fasting group. And they aimed for the same calorie deficit in both of the experimental groups. And they looked at a whole host of stuff, cardiometabolic markers, insulin sensitivity, HOMA IR, HbA1c, inflammatory markers like IL-6, TNF-alpha, CRP. They also looked at blood pressure, heart rate, blood glucose, blood lipids, a lot of things. But this study specifically was looking at the inflammatory markers. I can give you some of the results of the overall study. Basically, both groups lost about the same amount of weight, lost about the same amount of fat, and there really weren't much differences in anything that was measured. And with inflammation, there was no difference in any of the inflammatory markers that were measured between the intermittent fasting group and the calorie restriction group. And it appeared to be related to their levels of body fat. That is, if you decrease your body fat, you decrease your inflammatory markers. That is because adipose tissue, excess adipose tissue, is pro-inflammatory. It is an endocrine organ that secretes its own inflammatory markers called adipokines. And so if you decrease your fat mass, you decrease your levels of inflammation, which I believe somebody had that. Who had that? I believe I had that consistently now for several years. I will admit when I'm wrong, but I will also gloat when I am right. And in this case, once again, I am right. Some of you will say, but Lane, I did intermittent fasting and I feel less inflamed. Inflammation is not about your feelings, kiddos. We can objectively measure inflammation. It is not whether or not you have a tummy ache when you eat. That is a different thing. Inflammation is looking at inflammatory markers in your bloodstream like IL-6, TNF-alpha, CRP. CRP tends to be the one that gets measured a lot. And again, decreasing fat mass tends to decrease these markers. Increasing fat mass tends to increase these markers. Since both groups lost approximately the same amount of fat mass, there was no difference in these inflammatory markers between the groups. Yes, there were no differences in insulin sensitivity, HbA1c, HOMA IR, all these things that some of the intermittent fasting zealots try to say that intermittent fasting and eating in a certain feeding window is going to magically change things even with the same amount of weight loss or same amount of calories. That does not appear to be the case. And we have numerous, wait for it, human randomized controlled trials demonstrating that intermittent fasting is not superior to regular old boring calorie restriction when calories are equated. That being said, the other way to look at this is that if you like intermittent fasting and you find it easy to adhere to, it is just as good as calorie restriction at improving these markers of health. So you should do what you, the individual, prefer. I personally do not like intermittent fasting for me. I don't like not eating breakfast. I feel hungry at breakfast. I want to eat when I wake up. Some people don't care about breakfast. Other people are hungry at breakfast, not hungry at dinner, and so they cut out dinner. Doesn't matter. However, you can consistently adhere to a dietary protocol that helps you eat the appropriate amount of calories for your energy expenditure and goals. That is what you should do. If you are looking for where to get started with your diet, our app Carbon Diet Coach does not discriminate or promote various different kinds of diets. You can do low carb, low fat, plant-based, balanced diet, like a Mediterranean diet. You can also do ketogenic diet. You can do intermittent fasting with Carbon Diet Coach. We don't care. We are just there to facilitate maximum dietary adherence so that you can actually get results rather than trying to pigeonhole you into one way of doing things that simply may not work for you in terms of being easy to adhere to. You don't need to do intermittent fasting to get results, but if you like it, it appears to be basically just as good as calorie restriction when you equate calories between groups. So if you're interested in Carbon Diet Coach, you can click the link in my description and sign up for it, and I'll catch you guys next week.